Hola, what's up everybody? Um, I'll give you guys a quick update on what's going on here in the shop. There's that Chevy truck. I shaved the handles on. Um, it's all wired up. There's a key. Uh, number one. Pop the door. She opened up. We still got to put the door glass in it, but you see it works good. Um, passenger door also, number two. It's already open, I think. Yeah. Check it out. Anyway, still doing the body work on this, and uh, you can see back here I got the, finally put the roll pan on it, that's where the caddy lights are going to sit, I'm going to put them somewhere, you know, where they look good, uh, cover those lights off, I'm still waiting for the latches for the tailgate, in order to do the body work on the edges here, you know, to make everything line up, we went ahead and covered that opening for the handle. Um, see how good it looks. There's that green Dodge. We're washing it. Uh, Mr. C's uh, truck. Um, we're gonna be delivering it up there to him today, uh, probably around 11 or 12 o'clock. And uh, I also did this the Sebring. I got some photos. Gonna I'll be posting up here soon. But the damage was here on the door. So I ended up painting just this part right here and uh, blending into that part of the fender. Uh, we did stay below the stripe. We were able to save the stripe. You can see it looks good. Doesn't have no hard line or nothing. Um, that's where I did my blend. And now I came back with a buffer and just buffed it a little bit. Uh, looks good. That's a good gloss to it. You can't even tell we worked on it. Uh, so we're going to get ready to take this, uh, as soon as that green one's washed, we're going to take this to the other side and uh, give it a bath and uh, get ready for the customer to come pick it up. Uh, they also brought me another Dodge pickup, so that's going to be a complete paint job. Uh, let me walk out there and show it off and see, get, tell you guys a little bit about what we have to do with it. Alright, here it is. It's going to go like a charcoal. You can see that dent that it has right there on the bedside. This whole corner right here has to be pulled over. Um, like I said, it is going to be uh, complete, so we're going to paint inside the bed and all that stuff. You, know, uh, you can see it's a pretty big truck. Uh, it also has a stack coming out of the hood. We need to get that stack, take it off, and cover that hole right there. You know, the hood's pretty solid, so I told them uh, we can patch that up. Um, it's a big old truck. Let's get squirted. It's not going to take the stripe. So we're going to get the stuff going and then, uh, and then we'll come back with another video or so and uh, let you guys know the. The status and what's happening. Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, here's that Chevy truck I'm doing. Uh, you can see I got the roll pan on. I started putting the the sleeve for the caddy lights. Um, it's basically, what I did. I got my measurement or the way I wanted them, you know, on one side, and uh, traced it out. You know, I got my mark where I wanted it, and then got my measurements and stuff, and then transferred it over to this side. And I went off the bottom of the bed, you know, the bottom of the roll pan with the measuring tape. And off the side here, off the roll pan, you know, I got my measurement. Uh, as you can see, this side's already all grinded down. I'm going to go back in here and spot weld it in. And then uh, as soon as that's done and grinded down, I'll jump to this side and cut off the excess. 
<clears throat> and do the same thing, spot it all in, and then grind it real nice, and then fill it in. But uh, I just want to give you guys a quick update on this truck. Uh, there's a few things I want to talk about, uh, probably in the next video, you know, about, uh, about what it takes to do these custom jobs, you know, and the time frame it takes. <clears throat> um, but just want to give you guys an update and let you know how it's coming out and the way I'm doing these caddy lights, you know, doing them sideways. Well, right there, I'm gonna break that weld off and flatten this out, and then re retack it in so that it stays nice and, and contoured and doesn't slope up so steep right there. Coming out good. Alright, I got all the walls grounded down on that side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump to this side and get that excess cut off and start wrapping it around like that side, like the driver side. You can see I ended up putting almost a hundred little caps in here. Um, and then you have to grind off each one and make sure it's flat and you don't want to grind too much, but it is time consuming. Um, that's what's coming out. That's a time consuming. Alright, um, there's another quick look. You see how uh, the tax I started putting in it. 
I ended up putting kind of a bead up here. That's where I had it stable, you know, so I'm going to have to grind all that stuff and then uh, come back and fill in wherever it needs it. But uh, in order for, for it to look like that side. And another job we're doing is that Dodge truck. It had the stack coming out of the hood. So now we cut a piece out, stuck it through the back, and uh, we're going to weld it in. Got to get that dolly underneath it. Right here, and we'll work around that one. Go ahead. customer wanted so we were putting it you know it's gonna have that little overhang at the top you know make it look real real clean and sharp and this tip right here is birdie gonna come out to the edge here so it's gonna have that chrome look <coughs> it's gonna look real nice with those rims on it with the 28s so it's ready for some filler now like I said So up everybody, I'm going to get ready to uh, do the jamming on this dodge right here and uh, squirt all of the, the bed you know, inside the doors, underneath the, underneath the hood, the fenders on the top and uh, as you can see how nice and masked off we, we did it, you know. This is going to be painted, uh, it's off a, a 2011 Ford. It's a, uh, oh shit, I forgot the damn color. It's called the uh, Earth, um, something Earth. I'll, I'll get it for you here in a second. I'll tell you guys the name. Um, I mentioned to the customer there wasn't really nothing we could do about, you know, patching up that hole. Um, so I'm going to put some, uh, some of the inner structures ripped out. So I'm going to put some, uh, seam sealer around it to make sure it seals real nice and then just give it a passive color it does take a uh, what do you call it Changing the whole color, like I mentioned. See 
uh, we masked everything off really tight, you know, all the labels and all that stuff. We got a good, clean job. 